In nuclear chemistry, we're looking at changes from one atom to another atom, which is not part of a normal chemical reaction. So there are five different types of radioactive decay that we're going to look at, where the first one is alpha decay. An alpha particle is the same thing as a helium nucleus. So we can write that in terms of the atomic number, the Z value of helium nucleus is 2, and the mass number A is 4. So you'll see it written 4,2-HE or 4,2-alpha. If you have an atom that undergoes a radioactive decay where it's going to release an alpha particle, we can write that reaction in this form, where we have the isotope symbol on the left. For example, this is polonium-218. 218 is the mass number, and polonium's atomic number is 84. When it releases an alpha particle, and our focus in this chapter is entirely on the nucleus, we're not looking at the electrons at all. All we have to look at is the atomic number and the mass number, and making sure that those are conserved. So in other words, if we start with an atomic number of 84, and the product side has two, and there's only one other product, that other product would have to have an atomic number of 82, which means we can look on the periodic table, and we know that element with 82 protons is lead. So we can fill in the symbol for lead. The mass number, 218, also has to be conserved. So 218 is equal to 4 plus 214. So if a polonium atom underwent this type of radioactive change, it would turn into an atom of lead 214. The original is called the parent, and what it turns into is called the daughter. So that's one type of radioactive decay. Another type is emitting a beta particle. A beta particle has zero mass but a charge of negative one which means beta particle is just an electron so here's two ways of showing a beta particle if we start from the same parent we can calculate the daughter exactly the same way we have to conserve both the mass number and the atomic number so looking at the atomic number 84 is equal to negative one plus 85 and then we can find on the periodic table the symbol that goes with an atom with 85 protons. And the mass number 218 is equal to 0 plus 218. A third type of radioactive decay often goes along with the other types. This is emitting a gamma ray. A gamma ray has no mass and it has no charge. A gamma ray is just a form of energy. So this type of decay might happen with one of the other decays simultaneously. The fourth type we're going to look at is a positron emission. A positron has zero mass, but a positive one charge. So you can call a positron an anti-electron. Here's two ways of showing a positron. So if this same parent releases a positron, 84 is equal to 1 plus 83, 218 is equal to 0 plus 218. So we know that this element is bismuth based on the periodic table. The last type, the fifth type, is a little bit different. Instead of the nucleus emitting a particle, this time it's capturing a particle. If we capture an electron from the nucleus, now the electron, notice zero mass, negative one charge, so this is an electron being absorbed by the nucleus, so the reactant side, we now have two things, and we can still figure out the product side exactly the same way. 218 plus zero is equal to 218 on the right, 84 and negative one makes 83, Notice the electron capture product was bismuth-218. So was the positron emission. 
The parent and the daughter are always identical for positron emission and electron capture.